Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. This is our third theorem on theorem on angles on a circle. This time we have two second exterior angle theorem. So we have two second and exterior angle. The theorem is stated that the measure of an angle formed by two seconds of a circle intersecting at a point in the exterior of a circle is one half the absolute value of the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. To better understand the theorem, let's have this circle, which is circle C, and the given we have AE and second PR, oh, AE, line AE and line PR are second. In our theorem, the measure of an angle formed by two seconds of a circle intersecting at a point in the exterior of the circle. So this angle, the measure of angle ESR is one half, one half, the absolute value of the difference of the measure of the intercepted arcs. So we have the intercepted arcs too. So we need to get a difference. We have the measure of the arc AP minus the measure of the second arc ER. Okay. That would be our conclusion. Let us repeat, the measure of the angle form in the exterior of the circle is one half the absolute value of the difference of the two intercepted arcs. We have the arc AP minus the arc ER. To better understand this theorem, let's try to solve some exercises. To better understand our third theorem, let's have the following exercises. In our first illustration, we have circle F. Okay, circle F. We're going to find the measure of angle CAD. Where is the angle CAD? CAD. Given the arc, CD measures 56 and the arc BE measures 22 and for the second illustration we have let us name it cir uh, circle G okay. we have the circle G and the following measurement we're going to find the measure of X so X degrees if you want to try the two problems so go ahead pause the video then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Let us find the measure of angle CAD. CAD. So in our theorem, the measure of the angle CAD, angle form in the exterior of the circle, is equal to one half of the difference of its intercepted arc. So we have here 56 minus 22. So one half 56 minus 22 that is 34. Right? 56 minus 22, so 6 minus 2, 4, 5 minus 2, 3. 34 divided by 2 that is 17 so 17 degrees measure angle CAD is 17 degrees okay next find measure angle X so you study the given circle in order to use our theorem the intercepted arcs must be given so in this case, we don't have the measure of this arc. 
So first step, we need to find the measure of this R. We know that one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. So we have 100, 110, so 100 plus 110, that is 210 plus 80, 290, so 260. Uh, 360 minus 290, this will give us 70 degrees. Okay, let us check. 80 plus 70, that is 150. 150 plus 100, 250 plus 110, 360. Okay. Now we have the two arcs. So to find the measure of angle X is equal to one half of the difference, 100 minus 70. So one half of 100 minus 70, that is 30. Now half of 30 is 15 degrees. So measure of the angle X is 15 degrees. So this is 15 degrees. That's the, applica that's the application of our theorem number three.